you guys what is up. It is a scorcher outside right now. My shed is a little toasty, my studio. So excuse me if I do look a little bit uh, toasty. It is hot out today. <laughs> Way hotter than it should be on the first day of fall. But I have an incredibly special video for you guys that had a rough start. I made and recorded the unboxing video about three weeks ago for this blaster. And my memory card got corrupted. So I lost it. Of course. So um, I have already opened the blaster, but I think it will only enhance this because I can give you my honest uh, three week reaction without doing a, a Nerfers 101 review, which is a little bit more elaborate. So this is not a full review, it's more of an overview of the blaster. So I'm gonna be doing this right now. So in front of me I have the Ultra One and the Ultra One box. We're gonna start off with the box here. First thing I wanna point out is the gold Nerf logo. Super duper cool. And the advertising here. Got a huge new bright sticker on it. A great image of the blaster. A brownish orangish background. And the 120 feet range guarantee. Or statement I should say. Uh, it has the farthest flying nerf dart ever up here in the corner, so you can see it in the plastic. And then on the back, it's showing you exactly what Ultra is, which is pinpoint accuracy, distance, speed, and this brand new dart with Aerofin technology. The Ultra Blaster itself has this really cool gold Ultra lettering on it, and even the box alone makes it look pretty sick. So yeah, that is an overview of the box. We have the number one blaster brand on the world on that side. Everything else is pretty much normal and what you would expect from a Nerf box. It's also showing us a Ultra Dart refill right there. I'm pretty sure that that's a pack of 20. I do not know the price of that off the top of my head, but we are gonna be having Ultra Dart refill packs, pretty obviously. Uh, you do need four C batteries for this blaster that are not included which I purchased and put in. So here's the blaster itself. We have one tactical rail before the battery jam door, and then one in the front of that. That's all that you get. There are a lot of bandolier attachment points, which I have used. Two on the back, one on the front, and this, of course, 25 dart rotating drum. Pretty sure it's 25, I believe so. And of course, my favorite part, the gold ultra lettering. So, first couple things to point out, it can hold eight darts in the back, but it only includes enough darts to fill up the cylinder, which is 25. That's all that it comes with. It has a pretty standard flywheel rev trigger. And semi-automatic firing. Essentially, you gotta pull the trigger every time you want a dart to come out while simultaneously revving the flywheels. Front grip is actually fairly comfortable and the stock is as well, although it may not look it when you're looking at the images of it. It has some pretty cool one lettering there. And this is your battery door down here where you put in the four C batteries. A couple of things that I've noticed after using it for a little bit, this jam door is very tight. It's kind of hard to get back into place. Maybe I bent mine a little bit or something like that. That is something that I've come into a problem with. Uh, other than that, it's pretty comfortable all around. Sometimes my forearm gets in the way of the rotating drum, but that's about the only comfortable aspect issue that I've encountered. Otherwise, it is a pretty comfortable blaster, easy enough to load and use. So. To my understanding, there's actually nothing incredibly special internally of this blaster. The specialty of this is in the aero fin darts. So these darts have essentially wings or fins duh, on the back of them that make it essentially spin in the air going further and faster. It is a different type of foam material. People keep saying styrofoam. That's not incredibly accurate, although I do believe it is a type of styrofoam. It is not like the packaging one. It's not that rigid or fragile as the ones that you get in packaging, which you can just snap very easily. 
These are actually very durable. They are, unlike Elite Darts, which are hollow on the inside, these are not hollow. They have the top tips that do somewhat make a little bit noise as they're flying. They have the Nerf logo on the front. And yeah, this is a much wider diameter than an Elite Dart, but it is slightly shorter. And it is dramatically smaller than a Mega Dart, which is the main comparison that I've seen. It's actually not very similar to a Mega Dart whatsoever. Of course, the majority of blasters have air restrictors, uh, especially the springers. Those are those pegs that go up into the hollowness of an Elite Dart, so these darts are really not compatible with any blaster before, and I've tried. This blaster is not compatible with any other type of dart either. So these are exclusive darts, exclusive to the blaster, and I, I believe the Ultra Line, because I this might not be the only one. It's called One. I have no actual information about that. That's just me making an assessment or a guess. Now, I will give you guys exactly what you want to see in a minute, which is this blaster firing. But I do want to just say that I am enthralled by this idea. New darts, a new blaster with a bit of different advertising, different color scheme, different Nerf logo. All of that is super interesting. I feel like there's a lot of hype being up, built up for this blaster, as it is the furthest flying Nerf dart ever. So, let's go out and fire it. I do have fresh Duracell C batteries, not a sponsor, in the blaster, so it should be firing at its prime uh, capabilities. So yeah, let's go. Alright, so I'm going to be firing about five darts in that direction. This is going to be straight, the first three, the last two will be at an angle. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to angle the blaster up. Okay, so that last start did go remarkably far. The other one's not quite as far. Let's see what we got. Although I do not have a measuring tape out here, I do know roughly the length of my yard. These are about 40 to 45 feet. Those were the ones that were flying at a flat angle, so just going straight, in which they drop down pretty quickly. If we go further, we will see the angle. Alright, this is the first of the angled darts. This one went about 60 feet. It was a little bit difficult to find because it was uh, over in this environment, black on black. But yeah, that's 60 feet, and then I gotta go try to find the last one, which I might not be able to find. Alright, so I've been looking for this last dart for like 15 minutes, and I cannot find it anywhere. I'm not sure if it went over the bushes leading into someone else's yard, but these bushes are at about 85 feet from my starting position. So, one dart did at least make it 90 to 100 feet, although I cannot find it. Uh, one dart at an angled range did almost meet those range advertisements on the box. Alright, so that does sum up my initial overview slash reaction of the Ultra One Blaster. I will be posting a full review and more in-depth range and accuracy tests in the upcoming days. I just wanted to get something out there to show you guys a little bit of this blaster and give you my very initial opinions. Although I've had it for three weeks, I have not done an actual elaborate test where I could give you actual performance results that I would feel comfortable giving you. So that's all that I feel comfortable sharing right now until I play with it and test it a little bit more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Nerfers101 out.